Okay, so hello everyone, and today we're going to be taking the Test Your Election 2019 Knowledge in 14 Questions quiz, which is on the BBC website, and I wonder how many questions I'll actually get right on this, because it's been a long time since the last election now, and I've probably forgotten everything, so let's do this. All right. Which party leader hasn't done the rounds at a boxing club on the campaign trail? Uh, probably Plaid Cumbre? Correct! Yay! <laughs> Who divided the nation, well maybe the Southwest, by suggesting jam goes on scones before clotted cream? <laughs> God, these questions are so stupid. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Nicholas Sturgeon? <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, I got that one wrong. <laughs> Alright, next question. Which of these publications is not campaign literature dressed up as a local newspaper? Which of these publications... Okay. Uh, I don't know. It's not like... Probably the Gazette, I'm guessing? Oh, no, I got that wrong too. Well, this is just Kieran Fails at everything episode. Okay, so... Who... Who glasses, whose glasses raised eyebrows on social media during a live TV debate? Uh, I want to say Dominic Cummings. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Jeremy Corbyn. Okay. Well, I'm doing very well in this quiz. <laughs> whose campaign merch for the winter election included a padded jacket? Brexit party. Oh no! Well, how am I supposed to know that? I only know what Labour merch looks like. <laughs> Who is the most common woman's name among the candidates this year? Uh, Sarah? I want to say Sarah or Claire. Yep, I got that one right. Hey! <laughs> okay. Who walked on stage to Kanye West's power? I think it's either Nigel Farage or John from Bartley. I don't think Arlene Foster even did many interviews during the election debate. I'm gonna say Farage. Hey, I got that one right. Woo! I've set some squirrel traps, but it's a game of chance whether I catch anything. Who said it? Rhysmog? No, Bear Grylls? He's not even a politician. How many Johnsons are standing as candidates in this year's election? 17? Hey! <laughs> okay, that was just a random guess. To be honest, I'm guessing most of these. <laughs> which Brexit Party candidate Peter... Well, which... which why, what did Brexit Party candidate Peter admit he was building in a newspaper interview? Wow. <sighs> If I was going to guess, it would have been a giant chain set because it wouldn't have been a community for survivalists or an Easter Island size natural shadow of Nigel Farage's face. I'm going to say a giant train set. Oh no, it was the survivalists. Okay, I'm doing horrible. <laughs> okay, right. Why did Jonathan Wallace, a Lib Dem candidate for Blyden in the North East, withdraw his candidacy? He decided he didn't like the idea of travelling to London. He had, uh, I'm going to say, he, he didn't like the idea, he hurt his head while scuba diving, seems the most logical answer, and it's not the, <laughs> it's not the, oh my god, why was Coca-Cola unhappy in this election? No one will make Coca-Cola its official campaign beverage, <laughs> you know what, that's something I wish was true, uh, well it's definitely not this one, otherwise we would have heard, uh, a campaign group blocks in one of its adverts. Okay, I need to see this advert. Maybe I'll do a reaction video to it one day. Well, okay, you know, I'm not getting any questions right. Why was SNP candidate John Nicholson left red faced? He admitted he'd never been. No. no. He, he got the name constituency really wrong. That's something that I would probably do in an election. Yes! I got that one right. Hey. Okay, the last question. Labour candidate for Tooting. Oh, I know this one. Love actually. 
Yep, oh yeah, that was a really good video. And I actually tweeted uh, Rosa Alin Khan about it and she liked the tweet, which it was very cool. I'm not going to be supporting a deputy leader, but I think she's a very good politician. Okay, so we're going to be clicking on the results. I scored 6 out of 14. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a fail. But I really do enjoy taking these quizzes. So that's actually one thing I actually quite enjoy. And these are like my favourite type of videos to make. So yeah, that was a pretty short quiz actually. So I really hope you enjoyed that one. Okay, so because that quiz was quite short, I'm actually going to be doing this one. So let's start now. Uh, this is the uh, what what your political pers what's your political personality type? It's nine questions. Okay, so um, the major party nominees are holding their first big debate. What will you be doing? Hosting a debate, watching a full party? No. <laughs> Watching the debate from the comfort of my couch. Not watching, I'll catch the highlights on YouTube later. Not watching, friends will send me links to the best parts. This one, definitely. The presidential candidate you support is planning a rally in your town. What do you do? Uh, attend, definitely. So, uh, show up to get in line. So, I get, oh yeah, I'll probably do that one. Chef, follow the rally on Twitter. Make mental notes of the location time. Move to Canada. <laughs> well, I would rather live in Canada than America, but I would definitely show up early, especially if like a political person who I really liked was having a rally in Crawley. One of your friends is making fun of the candidate you support on Snapchat. What do you do? First of all, I don't have a Snapchat. I think Snapchat is dumb. But uh, unfriend them. Oh, no, I wouldn't unfriend them. I wouldn't delete social media. To probably do this one. That's the most sensible one. Send a friend a link to an article that explains my candidate strength. Definitely that one. You want to know the latest campaign news, how do you find it? I just Twitter everything, like I follow every politician on my like, Twitter, <laughs> so I would probably just follow the candidates on Twitter. Once again, the day headlines, when asked when, no, nope. definitely follow the candidates on Twitter. Speaking at a private event, the candidate you most dislike is caught on tape saying something you find offensive, what do you do? Create a gift for the candidate and post it online to draw more attention to the remark. Follow the avalanche of new stories. Construct an underground bunker to avoid the NS for Firestorm. I actually quite like enjoy when big things happen in politics because it actually gives me something to do. Uh, definitely this one because I really enjoy creating memes. Uh, the candidate you support is holding a rally on the night before the election. What type of event do you think it will be? Anything so low key I don't have to hear about it. <laughs> that's the best answer, but that's not the one I would do. Uh, follow a full scale spectacle with a fancy backdrop. Yeah, definitely that one is my favourite one out of the answers. It's a month before election day, what will you be doing? What election? I'm pretending it doesn't exist. <laughs> That's the best answer. No, but um, posting political memes and volunteering to help the vote for my candidate, this is crunch time. Definitely that one. Like, I worked to the bone to try and get a Labour MP for Crawley and the good that did but yeah <laughs> the candidate you want to win is behind in the polls what will you do head to swing states to fill out the town hall and rent the rally spend the afternoon at your local volunteer pho uh, phone bank I hate talking on the phone so I rarely phone bank so if you Labour members if you ever get a phone call from me know that it's a very rare occasion uh, it's either one of these two definitely swing out to swing states Definitely that one. It's election day, what do you do? If you're not 18 yet, pretend you're old enough to vote. Take the day off from work, vote early, then volunteer to knock on doors to remind other people. Yes. I woke up at 6 a.m. on the on the last election day, spent four hours delivering leaflets, had breakfast at 10 p.m. Uh, at 10 a.m. and then completely went back out, started knocking doors until like eight o'clock where I physically couldn't walk anymore. So definitely take the day off from work and do what I can. And encourage people to work on social media as well. See your results. Election fanatic. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. You look, you look forward to every... Okay. You look forward to election years the way some kids look forward to their birthdays. I really enjoy elections. I don't like it when we lose, but I really enjoy elections. You know the major players' positions on big issues. That's sort of true. And have keepsakes for your candidate selection events. I do attend election events when I can afford to get to them. You you binge on campaign news coverage and look for ways to get others involved. Definitely, definitely, I really do do that. 
So thank you for watching uh, that uh, video. I really enjoy taking quizzes. I really do enjoy taking quizzes. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you found this funny. Uh, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.